Good morning, everybody. I guess it's good morning where I am. So maybe it isn't where you are, but welcome, welcome. I am super excited about this guest, Bia Marie Annie. Annie? Annie? Anine, actually. Anine. Okay, thank you. And uh, Bia Marie is going to talk on creating the impossible. So let me just give you a little bit of a bio. I'm going to read your bio. Bia Marie is the revolutionary behind the Superwoman Revolution. Her story has been featured in Women in Business, Grazia, and Inc. Uh, magazine, and her clients call her the secret weapon to success. She has dedicated her life to being of service and inspiring people to live their best life, do what they believe in, and create the impossible. With over a decade of experience in transformational coaching, Bia Marie Anning, Anning has helped performers, artists, managers, team leaders to live their best life, do what they believe in, and create the impossible. As a professional dancer and actress, she knows what it takes to own a room and as an energy master healer and flow enthusiast, she bridges the gap between science and woo-woo. She is also the host of the 52 Weeks of Flow podcast and co-author of the upcoming book, Inspired Connections. She is called the human potential upgrader because by creating the impossible, possible, Bia Marie uses her expert knowledge and innovative methods to transform that content feeling into greatness. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited for you to be here and I'm really looking forward to your talk. Um, all right. So just tell us a little bit about your journey and how you um, have been led to become the expert in this area. Well, you already said that I am an actress or I used to be an actress. I have 30 years of acting experience and I've also been a dancer and through this whole process of you know getting to know your body getting to know other characters i got dove really really deep into finding me and when i found myself my essence i transitioned into coaching because i believe that we are all capable of greatness when we find our true authentic self and this is what led me on this journey and we are all born with infinite possibilities. And like every baby is born with the capability of learning one of the 7,000 languages in the world. You know, mm -hmm. this is like, you come onto this earth and you have everything. And then yeah. we just forget. We just forget, like we are all born with superpowers. Mm -hmm. And so this is, my, this is my journey. This is my life's purpose to remind everybody of their superpowers, that we are all special. You know, there's, there is no normal. We might, we might be alike in some ways, or we have similar similarities, but we are not, we are, everyone is special. And so, yeah. yeah so, so this... true. So true. We're, <laughs> yeah. So true. We're all so unique and have so much to offer. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. It's just, I'm really passionate about this because I have so many clients who are like, well, you know, I have this average life and I, I'm so normal. I have two kids. I have a house. I have a husband. I, yeah, you do. And this is amazing. Now let's go in there. Let's figure out what your secret sauce is. You know, not everybody is vanilla. We're not, you know, we have, we're, everybody has their different flavor. Some, mm -hmm. yeah, you might be vanilla with sprinkles or you're vanilla with chocolate chips or you're vanilla with so Mint chocolate chips <laughs> yes exactly or sprinkles and chocolate chips so yes. yeah so, no and, I love that and this yeah. is also what brought me to to this topic of creating the impossible because some things for us just seem impossible you know mm. like uh let's say 100 years ago it was impossible to fly to the moon. Mm -hmm. We flew to the moon. Yes. 50 years ago, there was no internet. There were no cell phones. It mm -hmm. was impossible, you know, to, like in, in some countries, they didn't have landlines. But now most of that, in most, sorry, <laughs> most countries have landlines and there's internet everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. it's just the imagination. If you can think it, you can create it. And if you cannot think of it yet, it's like, don't beat yourself up. Human. Yeah. The yeah. impossible is just around the corner. 
Yeah. Yeah. And so tell us about how, um, like some pointers that you have that you want to share with the audience on how they can connect to their greatness, how they can connect to the infinite possibilities that are available to them. Well, there are three steps that I think are the basis of that. And the first is your language. Your mm. language defines your reality. Yeah. So the words that you're using are very, very important. Um, I'm not talking about affirmations because I have a little... Um, I don't know. Affirmations don't really work for me because as a, a recovering bulimic, you know, when I got out of when I wanted to break out of my eating disorder, I stood in front of the mirror and said, I love my body. I love my body. I love my body. And it didn't work. It just mm -hmm. didn't work. And this is because our brain, our brain hears those words. But when there's the slightest piece of doubt, it just pushes those words into the trash can. Yeah. Yeah. So what I discovered really works is lofty questions. Mm -hmm. When you ask yes. yourself, why am I so sexy? Why <laughs> do I look so amazing in that outfit? Or why do I have so many, so much abundance flowing into my life? And the reason why this works is our brain does, loves nothing more than a challenge. So when you ask that question, our brain goes like, oh, yeah, why is that that way? And then it goes on a search. And then it goes on the search and proves why it is that way. Right. It finds the evidence that it's true, right? Because yes. if we, right. So then the truth is really landing because then it's, it's finding the evidence of it. Yes. Yeah. So, and sometimes it's also about just like tweaking what you say, mm -hmm. you know, it, th there are those sentences, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. No, we have to get rid of those sentences. It's like sometimes yes. you win, sometimes you learn. Mm, yes. Or yes. Oh, I'm just having such a bad day. No, yeah. I'm having a character building day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or the thing about I, what I love is, you know, a lot of people say, I have to do this. I have to do this, mm -hmm. but no, it's like, I don't have to go to work. I get to go to work. Yeah. I get to do something. Yeah. And it immediately puts you into a place of gratitude. I started doing that when my children were little and I was driving them around and <laughs> all, to all their activities. And, you know, all of the moms would, okay, I have to do that. I have to drive this person to that place and that, you know, this kid to that. And I have to get supper made and I have to, you know, and I yeah. switched it at that time to get to as the, like you're talking about. And it just puts you in a whole different place of gratitude. I get to drive my children in a vehicle. And, you know, then you start to think, well, we get, we can afford that they're in at all these activities and my children are capable and in a place that they can, you know, attend these activities and we have a vehicle and I get time with them. And, you know, the list just became huge of the gratitude around using that word get and just one little, like that little switch is huge. Yeah. And I yeah. love how, how you did that, you know, when you're driving around your kids. I, I also have kids. And sometimes it's just like, oh, God, I have to do that. But it, it brings you into a state of victimhood. You know, it's like mm. life is happening to me. I'm such a poor person that I have to endure those tasks. No, when you say I get to, you're stepping in your creator zone. You're putting on your creator hat, you know, and you're like, no, I'm doing this whether I like it or not at the moment, whether it's, you know, taking up a lot of my me time, but I get to do this and yeah. I'm choosing to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So language. Yeah. And is it just shifts whole the whole energy for everybody, doesn't it? For the kids and, you know, for everybody. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Love that. So language is the number one key to creating the impossible. Okay. Because What's... when you, when you, watch what you say, your mm -hmm. thoughts after a while start to change. Mm -hmm. And you start, it's kind of like this, um, fake it until you make it just the other way around. Yeah. When you tweak your language, your thoughts after a while change. And then you create positive, a positive reality with your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So, like and that. there I come to the next point. Yes, that's number two. Energy. 
it's your energy. I already talked, touched on that. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. And you know, we are all created of energy. Like 99.9% .9 of everything that we see is information. It is energy. And it's just what we see is really, really dense energy. Yeah. And this is scientifically proven. So this is not just woo-woo. Yeah. And so if there's dense energy, then we can also change it. You know, it's energy, um, information in motion. You know, it's not a solid matter in that way. Right. And, and it's also about the energy that you're sending out. Mm -hmm. Like what you're sending out will reflect back to you. So when you're sending out, oh, this is so hard. I'm grinding. I'm hustling. You know, it's like you're pushing and pushing and pushing so much energy in front of you. It's kind of like rolling up a really, really big um, stone up a hill. Mm -hmm. And then when you're up on top of the mountain, all of a sudden that stone starts rolling and it rolls and it rolls and it goes really, 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 really fast. Yeah. And you cannot keep up. You cannot catch that stone. And this is what happens with your energy after you pushed and pushed and pushed for such a long time, that mm -hmm. energy just floods into your body and basically burns you out. Right. Yeah. And so that's why a lot of successful people say life is a marathon and not a sprint. Mm, yes. I love that. I love that. Yeah. I like to, I like to think of it as you're swimming upstream, right? Mm -hmm. You're swimming upstream and it seems like it's so hard, but when you allow yourself to go with the flow, right? <laughs> this yeah. languaging going with the flow, even then you're like, it's, it's, it's easier. You're, you, it brings you into ease and flow and allows it to the possibility and then it, I think as well as you're talking about that too is the harder we try the far the what we desire goes farther away right yeah. if we're wanting this these possibilities these infinite possibilities it's the energy to attract it rather than trying to make it happen yeah exactly and then we're also back with language and thoughts and the energy that we send out if we believe that the impossible is impossible, then that door will stay shut. Mm. Yeah. It will not open. Yeah. yeah. And so when you open yourself up to the possibility that there is way more than I know right now, if I open up to, I just don't know, all of a sudden, click, 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 doors open everywhere. And it's not about envisioning that you have to envision everything. No, you just have to say there is out, stuff out there that I don't know. Yeah. It's, yeah. And so when you, when you just flow with the energy, as you put it, and you send out the vibes of I'm open for possibilities. I'm open for impossibilities. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm receiving mm -hmm. then yeah and not and not having out. and sorry and not having to know how it's going to come yeah mm -hmm. yeah the how is for something something completely so for somebody else <laughs> to decide <laughs> but yeah. it's for you to decide what you want yeah yeah I love that okay what's your step number three my step number three is cut yourself some slack okay take a break because just as i said sometimes we just don't know don't beat yourself up for not knowing the the thing about impossibilities or possibilities is you don't know so that's the impossible for me the past five years, it was impossible to create a conference. For me, it was impossible to write a book. It was it, so many things were impossible. Mm -hmm. Last year, I created a conference. In March, I'm going to be a featured author. It, like now I'm speaking at an international conference as well. You know, it's like Summit. things. Yeah. When you open up and when you believe that 
just around the corner, there is something waiting. I might not know what it is, but it is there. Mm -hmm. And you cut yourself some slack for you don't know how to get around that corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's kind of like you, you know, like I can drive from one place to the other and I know mm -hmm. I'm going to get there. Right. But I don't know what might happen on the road. I don't know all the curves, the turns, the hills, the valleys, the, you know, the, yeah whatever, you know, whatever you have, like toll bridges or whatever it is along the way. But I yeah. know that I can drive from here to there, <laughs> right? Because I know it's possible. And yeah. yeah, but don't know how to get there. Yeah. And it's like this feeling of, yeah, I'm in my comfort zone. I feel, I feel safe. I feel warm right here. But that doesn't mean that I cannot feel safe and warm out there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like traveling to a foreign country besides taking a break cutting yourself some slack be curious be mm. open and just see the world for was it for what it is a big playground mm -hmm. it's a huge playground for us to discover all of those different or you can also can say candy shop you know where you have this candy or that candy or ice cream shop whatever picture works for you um yeah yeah, what? so tell us a little bit more about this, cut yourself some slack. So is this, are you talking about not putting pressure on yourself? Is it like, tell us a little bit more about that. Like, I, I, I feel like I know what you're saying is like, cut yourself some slack, but it doesn't mean not doing anything, right? It's no. like, it's like getting into that flow. So tell us more about that. Okay. So when you're working on something, for example, in your business and mm -hmm. You have worked so hard, but at some point you're just like, I don't know, it's just not happening. Some things don't, they just don't happen. I work and I want to create results, but nothing is happening. Then take a breather, do mm -hmm. something that, that gives you pleasure, like do something for yourself. Athletes, after they have trained really, really hard, they take a break because mm -hmm. all of that information Find, has to sink into the body you know it's like weightlifters they don't they don't lift weights and go no they need to rest their body for their muscles to build up yeah and heal and that and is what they build yeah yeah and that is the same thing with um building new neuronal connections it takes some time mm. and just because we have understood the information up here doesn't mean that it sank into our body yet. And right. this is where the magic happens. Not up here, but when that connects to our body. Yeah, yeah. And also what I'm thinking about or picking up on is um, that it's often after you leave your desk that the inspiration, the idea is like when I get go for a walk or get on my yoga mat, that's what or that's when I start to get all the downloads, right? That's what I call them, right? Is like then you get the creative energy coming and the inspired, you know, in, you know, the inspiration to do the next steps. Yeah. And I think the biggest lie that we all buy into is okay, it needs to happen. It needs to happen now and it needs to be perfect. Mm. Just yes. because we see the outcome of other people doesn't mean that they have been that they have not been struggling for I don't know twenty years. Yeah. You know, musicians they don't just pop up and then they're there and then they're stars. Yeah, yeah. They have worked. They have they have played in nursery homes. You know, they have played in front of two people on the street yeah. before their big break. Yeah, and that's with everything sometimes it works faster energy works really 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 fast yeah but the implementation period into your body into your life into like what i said earlier when there's too much energy rushing too fast then you burn out so yeah and we and we don't want it to come so fast i mean we do want it to come fast of course we want it to come fast but then it, it then there's the next thing the next thing so it's okay whatever speed it comes because then there's going to be the next thing and then you're going to move on right because we have our whole lives of attracting the possibilities yeah yeah absolutely. and creating the impossible yes. okay this has been amazing so tell everybody about your gift oh yes so the gift the gift 
I call it I, E, Y, E, and it's called Empower Yourself Exercise. And it's a 30 minute powertation, um, which is um, infused with binaural beats, with sacred geometry, and with the lo love and abundance frequency for you to really embody this super, superhero feeling. Mm. And to start your day right and to set, um, set out for success, whatever okay. success means to you. I love that. So tell everybody about your VIP gift. Oh, this was so exciting because I created it exactly for this event. It's, yes. a, fu it's a future self and vision attunement, which is also 30 minutes but it is even more jam packed with more binaural beats, with more frequencies, with um, also, did I say binaural beats? Oh, sacred geometry. And it, it, it leads you into your higher self, into your future self. You will meet your future self. And by that, solve a lot of questions that you have right now. And then move into the vision of your future, like how you wanna create your future. Okay. And this is so much fun when I do that live with my clients. So, yes. <laughs> is it a digital program or what is it? Like, so what, so what are they getting? Like, is it a digital program? Is it videos? Is it, yeah. How do they? Yeah, it's an audio. It's an audio okay. file, but okay. it's just, it goes really, really deep on so many different levels because of all the extras that is infused in that audio. So, okay. yeah. Okay. That sounds amazing. Amazing. So that's called, and what is it called? Sacred. Oh, I have meet your future yeah, it's self. Called future self and vision attunement. Oh, and vision. Whoops. And vision attunement. Okay. All right. So that is the VIP gift. So mm -hmm. if you have your VIP, if you have a VIP upgrade, you're going to be getting that next week. You're going to be getting access to all of the VIP gifts plus all of the um the regular gifts but grab the gifts right now and upgrade to vip because there's like forty thousand dollars worth of videos and uh gifts that are coming vip gifts so uh, bia marie this was amazing i feel like you could uh, we could talk on this topic for hours like i feel like we didn't even touch this we didn't even scrape the surface so give everybody your last few words of wisdom that you want to share with everybody you are special just remember that you are special you are born with infinite possibilities and it's your job on this earth in this life to remember that and come back to your essence and back to your core because then success is just around the corner mm, yes 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 hell yes i love that that yeah like it's like don't second guess yourself. Don't go into self doubt and trust and believe that you can create the impossible. Whatever is here for you is available to you. And um, I kind of believe that you're doing a disservice if you don't offer it to the world. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Because you are here to bring your gift, your gift. In the, the world needs you. The world needs your gift. That yeah. you have only you yeah that yeah like you said at the beginning okay so just uh i think we have i don't know a couple seconds left so the three steps are language use lofty questions uh number two is energy be aware of the energy that you're, you're putting out and the third point is cut yourself some slack so this was amazing again you're listening to Bia Marie Annie Anning and the talk was creating the impossible. Thank you so much.